What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. I'm Carson, and this is Marley. Hey. <laughs> We're back with Toy Box Episode 4 on the Geek XP. I'm not host in this one. <laughs> yep. Uh, so we've got a bunch of Amiibo that we bought here. We have an entire Breath of the Wild set. Yep. And a little extra uh, 30th anniversary Amiibo, and too. I've... This one's not an Amiibo, but uh, it's still pretty cool. <laughs> it's almost as cool. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely cooler. <laughs> this one also is super awesome, but let's um let's let's open the big one first. All I right. Say. So, what we've got here is the Breath of the Wild first four figures Link figure. Um, you got this. You this is your first figure of this like. Yeah, I've never bought a figure this big. It's ten inches, and it's surprisingly light, but it's so well crafted. I feel like yeah. it looks so good. It looks beautiful so we'll get it up close that way you guys can see the box art it's really nicely packaged like whether you want to like it'll look beautiful out of the box but it, it'll look nice in it too yeah so why don't you do the honor sir okay it's... well uh okay <laughs> we definitely need there we go rip that nice box i was just going on about uh <laughs> you just gonna take this <laughs> there we go there we go technical difficulties <laughs> aside <laughs> all right so let's open this guy oh we got more oh, more <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> In a way, it's good because it keeps the figure secure, but at the same time, it makes an opening it really annoying. Very. We got that. Yeah, I got this one. There we go. Okay. All right. So, have you bought a lot of first four figures before? No, I've never gotten one just because they're usually really expensive. They did a really nice Kirby and Meta Knight one. Yeah. But it was like three hundred dollars. Um, there we go. Okay. Woo. So, I normally don't get this kind of stuff because it is very expensive. Yeah. Um, but this one in particular kind of caught my eye because it was under a hundred dollars. It was ninety bucks. Oh wow! And to me, I saw the quality of it. And I'm a huge Zelda fan. If and... our content this weekend hasn't been any indica <laughs> indication. Yeah. So let me just do like a quick like pan of it. Just a rotate. That's really cool. And then Archer Link. Yeah, we've got the Sheikah Eye yep. on the stand there. Okay, so this is this I don't think this is hand painted. This is definitely printed plastic. Okay. But because they do it at such a large scale. Yep. They can do get really nice details on there. I don't know, actually. It might be painted. I can't Is tell. Is it possible some of it might be hand-painted? Some of it might be hand-painted, and some of it might just be molded plastic. Okay. But, um, wow, yeah, this is really, really nice. That's pretty incredible. Um, how much did you end up paying for this? $90. So, guys, if you want a really nice Breath of the Wild collectible that's, you know, high-end but not too pricey, this is a great great piece to get for that yeah. um you also got a certificate of authenticity oh uh, that's really cool oh oh no it's so i guess the back of the box you can take out to set up a diorama um they're doing horse rider link too awesome yep and uh whatever that is <laughs> um so that it was the first four figures so that's pretty cool yeah definitely all right all right do you want to so the Guardian have... one's probably the second coolest thing here, right? Yeah, so let's get... <laughs> Alright. So we're just gonna bust into this thing. Now this is the first posable amiibo. Yeah, pretty big deal. Which is pretty cool. I've not shown you guys my collection, but I, I got the amiibo bug pretty bad. Mostly for the Smash set, but... Yeah. Right there. Alright, oh, okay. it. Alright, so he's got a really cool, like, stand, or 
diorama piece. He's got um some ruins right there. He looks really nice in the box too. Yep. So let's. And just as a side, everybody, you get you can get exclusive items when you scan these into um the game Breath of the Wild and the Guardian Amiibo gives you rare items such as like this special arrow. I'm sure you guys are here. You get a special arrow, some special crafting items and stuff. So I don't know what this arrow actually is yet. This arrow right here. Dude. It it might be able to like one shot guardians in the game, I'm not sure. So but... here's a close up of the figure itself. Um that's pretty incredible. Uh that's this might be the coolest amiibo they've done so far. The yep. legs are rubber with wire, so you can kind of position them however you want. Originally, I thought they were just ball hinges, uh, but no, these are, this is super flexible. That's really cool. And it was a little bit more expensive than a regular amiibo, right? All the Breath of the Wild amiibo are a little more expensive. A normal amiibo clock in at $13.99. Yeah. This clocked in at $15.99, I believe. And then he was 20-something, if I remember correctly. I think he correctly. was 20, right on the dot. But for the amount of quality you get with him and for how, like, cool the bending functionality is, it's totally worth it. Yeah. All it right. really is. So. All right, so let's just start opening them. Right yeah, here. Totally. So here's your, the, that's your Bug yeah. Goblin. So I got the Bug Goblin. Um, you got a little loincloth right there. <laughs> let's and what kind of items does he give you? So the Bogoblin gives you uh, Bogoblin weapons, but like yep. higher end versions. Yeah. So there's a little bit of that. All right, let's. Mr. Bogoblin. <laughs> I got those a... are some powerful thighs. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, when you're a monster, you got to. Dude, he does not skip leg day. Look at those glutes. That is awesome. He is the dude. The enemy design in Breath of the Wild is so good. Absolutely, I there were both columns in Skyward Sword, I just, which I felt like their design was terrible. These are so good. I feel like. Just look at it. Look at it. Avert your eyes. Look at it. Yeah, so he's pretty sweet. But goblin thick. <laughs> he's pretty awesome. All right, so now we got I got Zelda here. And her role in this game is very mysterious. Yeah, I haven't met her yet, so... I haven't met her either. This one is Archer Link. And so, Zelda gives you a shield, it looks like. Uh, like a good shield. And shields in the game, like anything else, have durability, so... They all break. I'm guessing this one probably has like better durability. It's probably like higher on defense and stuff. Heads up with Archer Link. He comes with one of those toy wrappers so you can't just rip them out of the box. Uh, I almost just broke mine. Woo! <laughs> Jeez. All right, and so here we have Archer Link. I think Archer Link gives you that bow that you saw him use in the first trailer. And then what I really like about these is obviously the amiibo figures need stands depending on yeah. their uh, pose. With the Smash line, they very much needed to... That was a decision made last minute to make the Amiibo. Yep. And so they just kind of got them out quickly. Uh, they're getting a little more artistic about how they hide the stands. It's like a dust or, cloud. It's a dust cloud, so that's what... But that's what he's resting on. It's better than just a, the P stand as it got dubbed. Oh, God. That was, <laughs> that was pretty awful. So here's Zelda, a close-up of Zelda. Again, not really sure what she is doing in the game she seems to be trying to keep people safe from ganon she's like uh, keeping him at bay i think i think yeah keeping calamity ganon contained yep there's that uh okay let's save 30th uh right. link for last <laughs> let's do uh rider link here i'll let you all right so rider link gives you some rare weapons and it looks like a rare saddle uh, this one i was a little disappointed in i was hoping he kind of unlock like a super awesome horse you could tame yeah um but i mean i don't know what the role saddles play in because i every horse i've tried to tame has not worked so <laughs> there's some super high level horses and we don't have enough stamina yeah like i've tried even getting potions to stamina like try potions. and like drink them while i'm losing stamina and i still can't get some <laughs> of these horses 
But here's Rider Link. I think the detail on the horse is really nice. And yeah. Link is pretty good, too. Um, Rider Link does not have any eyes. Yep, they did not paint his eyes. I don't know if I can <laughs> really show you guys and see, but... Yeah, it's a little hard to get under there. But if you've got that but, look under the hood, yeah. he does not have eyes. It's really weird. <laughs> but this is a this is a cool amiibo. That horse, I feel like, is really nice looking. And I made a promise to myself that I would not open... I have had this since, like, December. It's been sitting in his room. The, I keep teasing him about opening it. The, yeah, I just couldn't open it because I was like, look, until Breath of the Wild comes out, I'm not opening this guy. <laughs> like... So I'm so glad it was a March 3rd release date, too. And this, I believe, gives you... It doesn't say on the back, but it gives you, I think, random, like, meat selection. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. Dude, they, they have gotten so much better at making Amiibo. Yeah, for sure. They look so much better than they used to. I love my Smash Up, but there are some of them that are real janky looking. So, Ocarina of Time Link, everybody. Oh, my favorite um, <laughs> Zelda game is Ocarina of Time. And, yeah, yeah it's cool. really awesome. So. All right, so that's our haul. Uh, we have spent a lot of money on this game. Uh, yep. I would say so far it's worth it. I'm enjoying my time with it. What about you guys? Are you playing in Breath of the Wild? Let us know. Yep. Um, in a video we did the other day, we announced a giveaway, and it was the night of the game coming out and the console launch. And in the hecticness of it all, I forgot to add two things to our announcement video. So we've got a... Geek XP mouse pad. Yep. And then we've got a Geek XP lanyard with our logo on it. So whoever wins the giveaway, along with all the Nintendo stuff, will be getting some of the Geek XP's very first merch. So that's pretty cool. Um, so make sure you enter, drop a comment on the video or on this one, and then make sure to enter through Glimmer as well. Uh, that'll give you more points to follow us on Twitch. Subscribe to the channel, follow yep. us on Twitter, yeah. retweet us. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of different ways to get entered. Yeah, um, and we're going to, we already, yeah, we have the prizes set. Yep. We're going to announce the winner on March 10th. Yep, That's so you have day. until now, till March 10th to enter, so get on it. Yep. And with that, everybody, I think that's all for this unboxing video of Toy Box. Yeah. Uh, super exciting again. I'm just, so cool. I'm going to probably go back and start playing Breath of the Wild yep. like, right away after I edit this video, of course. <laughs> Keep collecting, everyone. All right, see ya. Bye-bye.